Woohoo! Oh, Megan's here. All right, y'all. If you can put in the chat where you're coming from so that we know. Uh, I'm here in Milwaukee, in Wisconsin. Uh, you know, staying cool at the Fiveville House. Um, just to get things kicked off, and then I'm sure other people will join us. But mm -hmm. since we're recording, this is also, you know, shout out to everyone watching the replays as well. Uh, welcome. This is Fiveable. I, my name is Amanda. I'm the founder of Fiveable. Started, uh, started all of this back in the winter of 2018. Before that, I was a teacher. I taught AP World and AP Human Geography. Um, and really just found that there was some pretty big gaps in what students were able to do on their own. Like a lot of kids just kind of fending for themselves, trying to make things work in spite of schools or teachers or resources, just like not, not being what they needed it to be. And so uh, what we've been able to do is really create a lot of content and community for students uh, to, to really be able to like plug those those gaps and, and make sure that every student has access to uh, really awesome teachers and the ability to then take and pass AP exams. So I'm um, really excited to bring Spanish literature and just Spanish language in general into Fiveable this year and um, there's, just, there's like so much fun stuff that will happen. So um, to I'll, I'm going to be kicking it over to Steven in just a minute, but if you are not yet signed up for a course or you would like to be uh, signing up for a different course, you can use the code OH10 uh, and that is at courses.fiveable.me or you can give it to a buddy to sign up with you. Uh, I'm around in the Slack channel if you ever have any questions, feedback, I don't know, you just want to like hear from the founder what it's like, uh, you can chat me in the DMs of Slack. Best way to reach me. Cool. Steven, I'll kick it over to you to introduce yourself and a little bit more about courses as well. Perfect. Thanks, Amanda. Um, so like Amanda mentioned, I, my name is Steven. Um, I'm the operations manager here. And so I take care of kind of like the, the random stuff that no one else wants to take care of. Um, and so I, I help pick up the pieces and make sure everything's running according to speed. Um, like Amanda mentioned in the like the thing about the Slack channel. And so if you sign up for the course, you'll get access. Well, first you'll get an email asking you to sign a community agreement. And then once you sign that, you'll be thrown into a Slack channel. And so what Slack is, it's, it's like a messaging platform where um, you can chat with each other. You can chat with your course teachers. You can meet people taking completely random other different classes. Um, it's really just a big community space for all to gather. And so, um, you'll get access to that. And so from there, you can hit any one of us up. You can DM your, your course teachers. Uh, you can DM us for any advice or things like that. And so um, that's what that'll be. And so if you have purchased a course, you're enrolled in a course and you haven't been asked to join that yet, just feel free to send an email over to hi at fiveable.me. Um, and then we'll be able to take care of you from there. But um, other than that, I think I'll, I'll hand it off. Brisa, you can um, share your screen and you can take it from here. Alrighty, let's see what we can do. And this is right here. All right, can you see it? Uh, yes. Perfect. Yes, okay. <laughs> All right, uh, thank you. Thank you for being on time. I am Brisa Lagunas and I, I am going to be your Spanish literature teacher. So thank you so much for being here. Um, a little bit about me. I've been an AP Spanish teacher literature specifically for the last 10 years uh, in Phoenix, Arizona. So I love it here um, because it's very centrical. You can go anywhere. You can be in Mexico in three hours. You can be in Vegas in four hours. You can be in California in five hours. It's just very centrical here. So I, I love it here in, in Phoenix. I'm a native speaker. So I was born in Mexico, uh, close to Mexico City, like two hours away. So I know what it takes to learn a new language. Um, and my accent is never going to go away. But um, my passion for teaching is just so much that I want to share everything that I've been learning um, with my experiences. So um, my classroom experience, like I said, I have experience teaching K through 12. 
So just the different levels of, of kids that I've been teaching, I, I discovered that all the students are kind of the same, you know, in kinder and, and preschool, they like, they enjoy candy, they enjoy stickers, they enjoy praising, they, they enjoy like learning different types of ways. So um, it still works for, uh, for you guys, right? 11 and 12 graders. So have most of the AP Spanish literature students are in that level. Um, so yeah, so I, I, I treat you guys like, uh, like my own students, like my own uh, kids and, and try to you know, scaffold a lot because the curriculum is rigorous, but we have a lot of support for you guys here. Um, so I've been a curriculum writer also. I work for my district and I write the curriculum to make sure we cover what uh, needs to be covered and to make sure we have all those five um, scores in the AP exam at the end of the, the school year. So I've been um, experiencing with remote, remote learning lately because of what happened, right? What's going on, um, we've been forced to learn and I love it because then I get to experience new ways of teaching. Um, so I've been here for the for the la last two years, been working uh, virtually, basically, in my PhD with an emphasis in AP Spanish. So that's because of that's my passion. I want, like, when you're working on something that is your passion, no matter what, how many hours you put into, like, it, it feels like nothing. Like, 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 just like when you enjoy playing video games, right? When you're when you're with your video games, you don't you don't count the hours. You don't say like, oh, it's been four hours or no, no. You're you you're enjoying your time. So um, so that's how I feel like about teaching this course. I enjoy it, and I want to pursue even my PhD. I'm in my last year um, in with the emphasis in AP Spanish because I want to be the best for you guys. Um, because if I'm the best, you're gonna be the best, and we're gonna have a perfect scores in that AP exam. So I've been teaching high school online courses for basically one semester, but I've been in the platform already here with my studies. Um, one semester is being, it's felt like two years already, right? Because it's like so much that um, we're creating and recreating uh, that in the long term is gonna help us. So I'm able to uh, connect with students, even though this uh, is not a requirement for, for you guys to put your camera, but I feel like I connect with you guys because just just the the way I like I, I follow up like I have a lot of um I'm very hands on so I try to different ways if you don't get it this way I'll teach you another way if I need to sing I sing for you in order to get the concept if I need to dance I need to show you a video or uh, do in the chat or post a post GIF or like send you to a website to practice like. We'll try everything to discover what type of learner you are and how we can make you a better, um, uh, better get grasp all the concepts in order to get those vibes. So I'm able to connect and engage with students when my uh, course by all these types of activities. And I love literature because there's so much um, open discussions that we can have that even the topics that we start in the middle ages from, from the 1200s, to 2000 years after, you know, there's so many topics are similar and uh, we find those connections, those same topics that that engage us um, in this course. So um, I, I believe that data speaks by yourself. So uh, just last this, this last um, summer, my students couldn't, like we prepare all year and my students couldn't test directly because of the, the COVID, so they got to test online. And guess what? 75% of my students got a three or, or better in the test and pass it. Like it even the, a, a, a virus couldn't stop them, right? And it was a, a challenge because of the technology and all this. But in the middle of the pandemic, they took the, the test and passed it. One student called me and said, Miss, I made it to Harvard University. I'm like, wow, yeah, I got, because he was taking another uh, AP, uh, other three AP courses, and he got four AP courses, and he got five in all those four APs. And just having the, the AP experience in your transcript is going to open the doors for you in so many different ways. So if you know somebody, and make sure you um, enroll if you haven't, because I'm so proud of, of all these students. You know, this is the actual report from College Board, and yeah, 75%. And this is a this is a course that 
it's not very interesting, but it, all you hear, oh, AP literature, it kind of sounds boring. But once you have the perfect person teaching the course, then it's not boring anymore because it's just like, it just, you just have to join us so you, we can experience it together, okay? So um, every week we're gonna, you're gonna have a passionate teacher. Of course, it's me. I love my job and I don't, it's like a hobby for me. I don't know, like, and that's, that's what I'm trying to, to tell you, you students too, that if you find the, the right, right teaching, the right teaching, <laughs> the right career for you guys, now that you're de debating, right, what type of career should I take? If you find the right passion for your life, then the doors are going to open and you're going to be doing great. And not only if you, whatever career you do, if you take AP Spanish literature, they will give you up to 16 college credits. 16 college credits, can you imagine? 16 college credits for one class. How many thousands of dollars you're gonna save without, and not just the thousands of dollars, the time sitting in the, in the classrooms. So and when you go to, um, when the, to university or college, you're gonna enter in the high level courses. So you're gonna be ahead of the game in two more classes and you can have a minor. And you know what, in any career, you have a minor in Spanish, oh my God, we're the second largest, um, language in the United States. After English, is Spanish. So you're not going anywhere. <laughs> you need to learn Spanish and practice your Spanish so you can get a minor at least in Spanish. And I'm gonna be here in the way to help you and lead you. So I always plan for the multiple intelligences because some people learn writing all the time. Some people learn by doing, acting, singing, um, body, kinesthetic, like so many different ways that sometimes teachers just get you stuck in like, oh, this is, the content and the content, but it's more than just the content. And you're gonna have a one hour live session with me and I'm gonna keep you in your toes and we're gonna be, at the end of the story, we're gonna feel like a family because we're gonna be like so, so um, well known, you know, because you're gonna be able to ask questions, any questions, I love questions, any questions that you can ask. Um, it, with my experience, I'm willing to help you and to put it in a way that you can understand it better, okay? So tons of resources from Fiveable Fi and other uh, re reputable sources that we have for you guys. And uh, unique assessments with feedback. This is like a perfect team for you guys in here. Office hours, of course, I'm here um, for any more office hours, opportunities to chat with your peers, you know, people, that, students that are in the same boat and win, want the same results. And you never know. So this is gonna be like kind of the, the first week, how we're gonna uh, see it. So um, I kind of start slow and then just keep adding and adding. You have to understand what is AP Spanish literature test, right? Because it's like backwards design. When you understand what, what the goal, then I'm gonna help you get there. So we wanna have a goal in mind. How are the, what is the formatting of the test? How we're gonna get there and discover all that and then we're gonna have to uh, jump into the unit one in the first week already. So like I said, we start in the mid middle age. Um, then I'm very visual, so I'm gonna be leading you like with pictures, with authentic, like the specifically the curriculum for, from, from the college course that, that we can, that we have to cover because it's a specific curriculum that every AP teacher needs to cover. So I go um, and get trained every year. I spend one week and get training the latest, you know, so I can um, bring the best for you guys. We're gonna be uh, speaking about Spain and uh, the dominant cultures in the medieval Spain, uh, the, the old oral traditions, how they started and then, you know, that we kind of uh, shift to the c cultural perspectives. We're gonna visit Alhambra. Now in these days, you can go to another country and just visit, you know, and compare art, compare what's, what, what was there. Um, just with the vit virtual visiting. We're, we're gonna do Kahoot, we're gonna do um, other things and, and we're gonna cover two of the works from the literature. So there are 38, 38 um, requirements for reading, right? And we're just gonna put in, there's some readings that are short, some are long, so you just read by your, by your own pace. Some people like to read like, you know, uh, for a long period of time, but I, I'd rather just, you know, I stick to stick to the point. I don't add like in more more requirements because we already have a full curriculum. But being strategic and to the point and 
being very explainable, um, it's get, we're gonna get there with no problem. In 15 weeks, you're gonna be able to take the test and pass it with no problem. So I'm gonna give you a, this advice. Um, this is perfect for homeschool students because self-studies, because the team will facilitate the learning in a meaningful way that you will actually understand the format and pass the AP um, Spanish test. And I was just looking at the, the news and, and I'm gonna tell you what this course worth it. Perhaps for college. You know how many students go to college and they, they sit the first day and they've been asked I, after the first week, have you been prepared for college? Raise your hand if your teachers prepare you for college. And it's very minimum. Like students don't feel like they're prepared for college because they don't experience the rigor. So by taking an AP course, you're gonna feel very, very, very prepared for college because the rigor is gonna be there. Um, like I said already, the second language, largest language worldwide, not just in the United States. So what else to study what you love? If you're here is because you probably love the language because you probably have like a four, three or some two years of Spanish. I don't know your, your history, but you, to be in a literature class, you probably have a good sense of what Spanish looks like. And we're just gonna raise it to the top of the pile and strengthen your transcript. Because everybody wants to see those, the transcript, you know, with, with experience in AP courses and AP preparation courses. So you're gonna have a, a head at start of the college requirements and save a lot of tuition dollars, guys, I'm telling you. It's not just the dollars, but the seating in there. So this is the, um, the curriculum. Um, it's specifically uh, surrounded by these six topics that you can see right here. So all the readings are connected to these six topics that are a little different than the AP language. So AP language is recommended before AP literature, and um, but like it's just the recommendation, but AP literature, if you wanna take it after your second year of Spanish, is perfect too. And this is how the test is gonna look like. So this was from, from, um, from the summer, but this is the formatting of the test. And yeah, like I, you see in the picture, I just, I teach both, both classes, um, language and literature, but literature is just definitely my favorite because I've been doing it for 10 years. So I, I have the experience and I, um, so you'll be learning much, much with, by taking this course. So are there any questions? Amazing, thank you. Thank you. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you can feel free to either unmute or throw it in the chat. Um, but I will say um, all of these open houses throughout this entire week will be recorded. And so if you do want to rewatch this, maybe if you have a parent that needs to watch it or you have any friends that you know want to take this course, you can send that to them. Um, we'll have a link to it. will be available on Fiveable as well as um, we'll send like a recap email of all the open houses, um, open house recordings. And um, in terms of any questions you guys have that you think of um, outside of this open house, you can feel free to email, um, I'll throw it in the chat. You can email hi at fiveable.me. And then um, the cool thing is, is uh, I mentioned it in the beginning, but once you join that community, you have access to Slack. And from there, you can chat with people who aren't even taking Spanish Lit. They're taking bio, and you can still connect with them. But you can also um, you can message any of your course teachers, and we ha you have that direct you know live connection with uh, your courses, and you can ask questions. And uh, I think it's going to be a really exciting time for that. So. Um, if there aren't any questions, there's usually questions when I say there are no more questions, <laughs> but um, just don't forget about code OH10 um, and that'll get you the $10 off of any other courses that you want to sign up for in the, in the future. 
Um, course signups will for the fall end on Saturday. And so this is sort of grind time to get signed up for those courses. But if there aren't any other questions, Brisa, thank you so much for, for that. It was really helpful to walk through that and what the course will look like. You're welcome. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. So um, again, throw us any questions if you have, and um, otherwise we'll see you. Oh, this weekend there's going to be um, orientations for all these courses. And so um, look out for that email. That'll be a really fun time to also get to, to meet everyone and see everyone. So um, this recording, once it's ready to go, it'll be up. And then other than that, we'll see you guys around. Okay. Thank you.